uh, hi everyone so in this video let's talk about chunking of an array okay so this is a problem statement we have array something like this and your chunk size is 2 so it should divide it into something like this okay it would be another array because this is how you can achieve the chunks you have to keep pushing that in an another array all the chunks you are getting okay so let's write this method const chunks and here you will have a two inputs array and size of the chunk okay and what you will do is you will return the chunks right so consider that i initialize the chunks with an empty array and index with zero now let's think about it how we can do it we can use array dot slice which will actually remove the chunk of an array from starting index to the end index okay so index is zero we can actually run either a while loop or a for loop if index is less than array dot length you just iterate it till there i mean till n minus one this is what i mean so chunks dot push what we are going to push the first chunk we can get from array simply using array dot slice okay slice will not change the array existing array we are getting it from index from index to index plus size this is the chunk we are generating and we just increase the index with size index equal to index plus size okay and finally we will return chunk a simple one right so another one is using the same method you can actually use the the for loop instead of while loop let's see a more simple one you can say let i is 0 i is less than array dot length and here we are doing i equal to i plus equal to size means i equal to i plus size and here what we will do is chunks dot push we will do the same thing uh, array dot slice and we are actually chunking from a chunking from starting index plus size okay so it will keep creating chunks and finally we'll get the chunks okay now you can actually just check this uh, we have this methods let's call it this forward slash so you can actually do console.log chunks here we are passing the array okay the array is 1 2 3 4 and the chunk size is 2 so it should be equal to, it should give us this output the output would be uh, an array of chunks which will have 1 comma 2 okay and the second chunk will have 3 comma 4 okay if you have another element like 5 then last chunk will have only 5 as an element because this is the leftover okay now uh, we just talked about all these things uh, which is about chunking palindrome anagram and all let's see other what all other problems we have a simple reverse array okay so now my next problem statement for you guys is consider that i have this an array this is my problem statement const array it is having one two three four five what is the easiest and simplest way in javascript you can think of to reverse an array without using array dot prototype dot reverse method because that is that will automatically do the reverse code is already written for that function in array dot prototypes okay what if you wanted to write your own native methods to reverse an array okay so let's do this meanwhile you can think of logic reverse array okay we are taking array as an input here you can also pause your video and think about how you can reverse an array okay simple is okay we will iterate on to the for loop and then we will keep swiping the elements from index 0 to index n and we will return an array or we can also use this uh, destructuring in an array to swipe two elements two adjacent elements right you might have seen this logic in javascript 1 a comma b equal to b comma a to swipe the elements and when we are saying that reverse that we are already expecting that this array is already sorted okay 
or not sorted doesn't matter we just need to reverse it so whatever the order is given you just need to return the reverse order of it so currently the uh, given array is this right so the output will be in this uh, in the reverse order either it is a sorted or not sorted you don't need to worry about it okay so reverse array we just run a for loop so what we are saying is let i is 0 i is less than array dot length okay and uh, so here what we need to do now you think about it so do we need to traverse the whole array no right what we can do is so this is the algorithm we have to think about this is my array uh, bigger one you see okay and I need to traverse I need to reverse it so what I want is I can just find the mid of it right so how many elements are there four and four eight elements so what I want is it get reversed and my final output will be 8765 one right so this is my final output which I'm going to get and how it is happening I just reverse it so if you have a sent you what you can do is you can just find the middle element of it okay you traverse the array till the mid position and keep swiping the elements one with eight two with seven and similarly the all the elements before the middle of the array will move to the right hand side and all the last elements will move to the front of the array right so array dot length divided by 2 and we will say i plus plus okay and here uh, we will just swipe it this basic logic is create a temp array of i and then array of i assign array of i to array of n minus 1 minus i so here we have array dot length minus 1 minus i and array dot array of array dot length minus 1 minus i will get assigned with array of with temp which we have created right so we just did a swipe and we are returning array right this will solve our problem Sim similar similarly we can write it using destructuring also reverse an array we will iterate it in the same fashion what we will do is we will try to reduce this these lines of code and what we can do is this is the feature of array array of i and array of uh, array of uh, array dot length minus 1 minus i will get swiped with the same array but with the different sequence the array of i will come last right so array of first index will get swiped with the n minus 1 minus i index okay and this is inside an array and you just uh, finally so once this is done return array okay so this is a simple one to just check if the reverse is done or not right so in the next video we'll talk about reversing a word capitalizing all the other basic javascript questions okay uh, thanks everyone